Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Architect 2. I took a couple of days off. I had a pretty decent backlog of videos. So I did read some comments and saw learned some new things. But first, our daily dad joke. What's blue and not very heavy? Light blue. We love to see it. So first things first, the one thing I really hate I did not notice is that Awakened Tricodium has an EMC value. Uh, I did not know it oh my god thank god we still have some left over i did not know it had an emc value and i'm kind of upset i never noticed so we're gonna go ahead and learn it it is pretty expensive actually um i'm trying to think what would make it so expensive maybe it's the dragon heart i don't know that could be it but who knows now we have awakened draconium don't have to kill a dragon anymore there were also about six, maybe six-ish pack updates since I last logged on. So some things may not, I may not have access to anymore. I know for a fact, one of those things I don't have access to anymore is like process your Ananite. So I do need to process it still, but still not too bad. But yeah. So I think today we should work on our next EMC adventure bound thing. So we need to get all of this together. So to do that, we need a mark of mastery. Which needs all of that. So we have an enchanting apparatus. Uh, if we go up a more level here. So it looks like to me, to make this thing, you need an enchantment apparatus. Okay, not an imbuement, enchantment one. Okay. So it looks like we should be able to make most of this, honestly. So we didn't need this, which, okay. You're not EMCable. It's kind of annoying. But so we have this, which is good. I don't know if we need this any for anything. Uh, no, I just used for the crafting recipe. So we can go ahead and put that in our storage system. A containment jar. Um, we can go ahead and probably, yeah, you can also put that in our system. That's cool. And then for this, this is where kind of where we're getting to our weird stuff. Make sure nothing's like duplicated for any reason. Um, so yeah, so we need at least four of each. So it looks like we need three for one of these and then one extra for our mark of mastery. If that's how it works, I'm not totally sure. But imbuement chamber, this is the imbuement chamber. It looks like we're all full up on source, which is nice. And the imbuement chamber takes 2,000, a torch, gunpowder, and flint and steel, and a source gem. I feel like source gem's EMC value went down. I don't know. All right, I have everything we need here. Split and steel, that, that, and then the source gem in the middle. And then crafting in progress. Cool. So this is extremely boring to watch, and I'm going to have to do this another three times. So I will spare you the boredom. And there we go. Now we have four fire essence. So we should be able to go ahead and make this thing. So we need the focus fire. So we need the mark of mastery. Wait, what? In the mark of mastery. Okay, so I need to make. Okay, I see what I need, I need now. Okay. Um. So we need one, two, three, four, five. It makes five, and we need. So we didn't think I need more than this. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and make our five. We need six marks of mastery. So we should go ahead and get all of this other stuff together. Earth essence is just pump. Looks just like seeds, grass, and iron, and then water. If there's anything weird. I'll bring you guys in on it, but I think all of this looks relatively easy. Nothing we don't have. Um, okay, so this one takes an extra step here, it looks like. Um, and it doesn't always take the mark of mastery. So which ones do and don't? So you need it. It's, yeah, you look like focus. And then, okay, so we only actually only need to make this craft one time, it looks like. We'll make five. We'll only need it for four of these. And then this one just takes this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the other essences together to make um, this bad boy. And then we should be good. Yeah, it's all like real boring crafts. So I'll get it done. All right. I think I've more or less crafted everything. But now we need an enchanting apparatus. Um, which looks... Actually, very easy to craft. So we need an enchanting apparatus. Ironic, we're low on <laughs> we're low on diamonds, even though we have an entire dimension full of them. Um, so we'll go ahead and get one of these, and then I don't know how to use these. Uh, let's see, how do I? 
there's something I can see about this. All right, I think it works more or less the same way. So if we go ahead and just like place this anywhere, I don't really know if it matters or not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move these. I'm gonna go ahead and put the enchantment apparatus like here. And then we just need more pedestals. So to be precise, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pedestals. Let's see how many of these can I make? Um, seven, eight pedestals I can make. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hopefully something like this works. And then we can go ahead and get our crafting down. So we need one of everything in here is pretty much what it is. Go ahead and do boom, 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 boom. Bing, bang, boom. And then I'm missing something, aren't I? My Animania cord has disappeared. I don't know. Or Anima. I don't know where it went. Weird. I put it in my system for some reason. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And then to make this, we need a tribute. How do I get this? Obtain when defeating Wilding Commander. Okay, so I should have it, right? Uh, I defeated them. Where's my... Tri do wait, does it use it something else also? Okay, I use it. Which means we have to go beat them up one more time. And that's everything we need. Go ahead and run it and let them spawn in. All right. Let's go ahead and stab you a million times to get to your phase. And now you just... Oh, weird phase. So you need to go to your spike boy phase right away? Oh, I just got to go... Skipped it completely this time, which is nice because that was the longest part. All right, now we should be able to... An arcane core must be placed beneath this block. Okay. So it turns out we do need an arcane core. One. Where did my thing go? Uh, source stone. How do you craft source stone? I don't even know. I don't care either. <laughs> um, pretty sure we need one for the crafting recipe. So go ahead and place that there and then I place this here. It would seem so. Oh, it was doing something. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and uh, take these. And then with these, we can now go ahead and make the rest of them. So. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, craft these again. They're just real boring recipes, but now we can do the focus fire stuff, which, oh, well, I need a lot more fire since I thought, um, yeah, I need a lot more. Damn. So I need at least three more per. Yeah. looks about right. I need three more, um, essence per. So that's kind of annoying, but oh well. All right, I think I'm just going to do this one by one so to make sure I have everything. Um, So we need this, which needs this, which is three gold. Wait, where is that? What's this in? That's in an imbuement chamber. So you need six. Okay, so I guess you can hold more than I thought you could. Oh my god, now I need more gold nugs. All right, let's do these back here. And then let's place that there, place that there, and then get the lesser focus. So we need three fire essence. Um, let's do one, two, three, and then three gold and an amethyst. So we have, uh, not in there. It should be here. One, two, three, and then an amethyst. We go ahead and put that like one, two, three, and then put our amethyst in the middle. We should, yeah, get the focus right. Cool. And here's this lesser focus, which means we should be able to convert this into a focus of fire. So if I go ahead and remove all of this, why must you be annoying? Boom, boom, boom. And then to make the big one, I just need to put it in the middle and then one of these. Okay. Go ahead and uh, nurse be found. If pedals are required, they must be placed with them. Okay. No rest to be found. What? That's what we want. Oh, the enchantment apparatus. Not this one. My bad. We'll put that in there. Okay, come on. Why are we being annoying? There we go. 
And just like that, we now have a focus of fire. So I'll go ahead and repeat that process for the rest of these, and I'll be back. Wait, I might be wasting my time. I just forgot the things on the side don't get used as crafting recipes. So I'm literally just wasting my time. All right, I do have more than enough then. Um, So I guess we can go ahead and just make these, I guess. So to make the fire-infused turret, we just need the fire and an imbuement chamber. Um, an enchantment spell turret. I did not look at those. So we'll go ahead and just make the rest of these then. The focus of water and all that. Um, Looks like I'm just going to need the gold and the amethyst. One, two, three. Put this away. And then the amethyst. Um, we'll need a couple of these, actually. So one, two, three. And then what was it? For this. Uh, the three water. Okay. One, two, three. And then the amethyst. All right. Also, I do wish this thing could pull from more than one jar at a time, because now I have all these jars for no reason. All right, now I think I have everything crafted up. We just need the um, turrets, which just takes a basic turret. Hello? A basic turret, which takes... Oh, it's easy. Okay. We go ahead and craft... Was it five? One, two, three, four, five of these. And then uh, to use this... We need to turn it into an enchanting apparatus, an enchanted one. So we need a source gem block and blaze rods. We'll go ahead and craft the first one on camera. Just because this thing is really cool. I like the sound and the animation. Very nice. And we can go ahead and grab it. And then we just got to do that another four times. Hooray. Nice. There. There's our five enchanted spell turrets. And then these just go into an imbuement chamber. Which means we won't lose our... Uh, what do you call it? Essences at all. So definitely went a little overboard. So three fire in the focus. One, two, three. Focus. One, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and grab our enchanted spell turret and make one. Ugh. I really wish I could pull from more than one. And we have one fire turret. So you can go ahead and grab all of that back and then just repeat the process for the rest of them. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the enchanted. And it'll craft. And I'll craft the rest of them. Almost there. And we got our fifth turret. So go ahead and pick up. Oh my god, please. Everything. And then that should cross off all of that off our list. And then what else do we need here? Um, wrong tab. It looks like we have everything. That's just all I needed to do. So that gave me a couple. What was what, what supposed to do? EMC gains of 200 bill. I feel like I did not. You'll need. One full source jar to crap. I feel like I did not get 200. Um, oh, it was 200 million. That's why I didn't notice. Oops. <laughs> um, so this, the Architron is actually very useful, I think. So let's uh, get into crafting this. So this is, and oh, this is everything we actually just crafted. Okay. Why do I have an emerald? <laughs> um, Put all these down, and then uh, what else do I need? We can go ahead and put that there. The jar, the mark, here's that. Don't need this. At ours, uh, jar, is it advanced spell prism? Yeah, advanced spell prism, this, and then the this bad boy. The 500 mil, and that should just about do it. Looks like it took it all. It said it took one full source jar, but... First piece down. Give me that. It's worth 250 million. We're going to learn that bad boy. So, to move on to a couple of other things that we need, we need a block of nitro crystal, which we actually should just have a lot left over, or I don't. Um, do we really not have any? I guess I used them all, huh? 
So to make nitro crystal, we need, I forgot, um, redstone, blazing, nether star. Let's see. What do we have in here? Two redstone. We have some blazing left over and a nether star. Throw that in there. Charge it up. A little bit faster, please. Time is money. And now we have a nitro crystal. We have enough to make a block, which is what we need. That away. Next up on the list is the rainbow core. And this takes a netherite furnace, which means I'm going to have to go all the way down to our, let's go an iron furnace and then just yeah, start out with furnace. Okay. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and craft up to a netherite furnace. Nothing looks out of the ordinary weird that we might need to show. So yeah. And there's netherite furnace numero dos. And the rest of this is just stained glass. So I'll just make it. And after crafting all that glass, um, should be able to make the rainbow core. Very nice. What does this even do? Oh, a rainbow furnace. We'll generate 50k a tick if all the different okay so it's like the whatever whatever thing from that one other mod that i'm forgetting the name of next up on the list is the flux accessor which means we need printed energy so where do i get this from um and a charger we need to put a block of iron interesting i've never seen this one before uh we disconnected the charger didn't we Charger. I'll suck it up right here just for now. And then block of iron and boom. I'll come back. <laughs> Never mind. It looks like I need to charge redstone, which redstone crystal comes from. Oh my god. This is the whole process. Redstone dust. Um okay, so we need flux dust. Do I have any flux just laying around? A little bit. Just a little bit. And then we need this, which needs this, which needs skystone dust. Do you have any of that laying around? A little bit. And then just a redstone block, right? Okay. Uh, definitely don't need this much, but we're going to make this much. So if I just go ahead, turn the magnet off. Come over to our resident water pool. <laughs> I've been using this entire time. And then you should just make me what I need, right? Look at them all. Absolutely zero need to make all that, but you know. Now we have it, and then I need to charge it in a charger. Okay. Pretty sure I only needed three. So yeah, I went a little bit overkill, because now this needs the uh, inscribe. In okay. At a... Oh, fuck. What's it called? It's called... I spelled it wrong, didn't I? Oh, well. Oh, well. And it's done. Okay. So we get that. And then to make these, we need the printed. Let's see. How much of this do we have? Uh, Printed. Make me three. We'll grab that. Don't need this. And then just was it three redstone? One, two, three. Boom. And then we should... Yep, there we go. And it's done. So now we should be able to create our flux accessor. Which actually leaves two things on the list. A ludicrite block, which will be easier than we all think it's going to be. Trust me. And then a blazing rod. So we need to use a blazing agitator. Blazing agitator. I assume it comes from you. Cause who else would that be? So we get the agitator. Uh oh oh that's bad. <laughs> oh. We don't we don't want to be here. I don't know if this place is being charged or not. I hope it is. Alright, let's go ahead and uh interrupt that. Don't want don't want that to happen again. Uh let's go ahead and place this here and then get some blaze rods. I think we only need one, right? I don't think I need them more. Yeah, just one. Then you should agitate, right? Question mark. Duration. Okay. You're. It'll take a while. That's fine. Um, to agitate it, so we might as well just 
If what if we need more? Hmm? What if we need more? So let's do that, and then while that happens, we need our Ludicrite blocks, which takes plutonium. Plutonium comes from. I keep forgetting. I think. Um, at extreme. What's it called? Bigger reactors. Bigger reactors. There's a machine here, a cyanite reprocessor that we can use. I might be able to craft right away. No reactor casing. Nope. Graphites comes from charcoal, which is fine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this together to make the agitator, or not the agitator, the reprocessor. Um, it's super easy. So let's get charcoal. Um, and then we need some uranium also. Uranium. Then we need to make. Oh, it take coal too. Damn. Uh, I don't even know why I even do that. Who knows? All right. So there's there's that. Now we can make the reactor casing, and this, and now we can make a cyanite reprocessor. Very nice. I'm running out of room to randomly slap things. Okay. So it needs to reprocess cyanites. And we actually have a dimwit here with cyanite. Um, I found it in the in the Enderman place in our mob farm. So what we'll go ahead here and do is grab a dimwit, one of our unused ones, um, here. Cracked. I'm not really sure what's on here. Day, no ocean, stars, village. Interesting. Don't care. So what we want is um finite block, obviously. We want it to be flat. No oceans. Alright. There. No oceans. Let's just make it stars. What does that do? And then oh, that's our emerald place. Okay. We should be able to just go ahead and cyanite. Or that, get that in here. Who's doing what? End cities, you're useless to me. So we'll go ahead and boot that up. Before I boot that up though, I do want to check to see, maybe we got lucky. Come on. Maybe we got lucky and there's something in here. I hate shulkers, truly. Truly, truly, truly. Damn, I was hoping we got a dimlet for a ludicrite and I could just skip it all, but not the case. Go ahead and trash all those, and then our uh, dimensions should be ready. Go ahead and dial our cyanites. Good. Have a world of cyanite blocks. Very nice. Very, very nice. Go ahead and just take some of these. And let's see how this works. Can I just throw it in here? No. This better be as easy as I thought it was going to be. You need water. Okay. So let's just move you somewhere else for now and then give you some water next to this sink. Boom. Will you take in the water automatically? No, you won't. Why would you? All right. Now he's full of water and you should, in theory, reprocess. There we go. Moment of truth. Will you turn to ludicrite or plutonium, whatever it is? Plutonium, please. Thank you. Don't even have to touch bigger reactors. And now we have four pieces of plutonium. We should be able to go ahead and craft a ludicrite block. Very nice, which means we should be done with this. Oh, wait, the blazing agitator. I forgot. I forgot. Are any of you done? No. While we wait, though, we can see what other quests we got because the pack updates and weird stuff happens. I don't know if this was there or not. Probably not. Go ahead and claim this. Stack upgrade tier five. Better than what we got for getting the epic stuff or whatever. Uh I feel like I there's no way I didn't get any of this. I don't know. Um away, away. No. I guess I'll learn it for some reason, because why not? Alright, let's see. Is anyone done? Almost. There it is. The last thing we needed. That's another quest. Checked off. Boom, boom, boom. And we get. I swear, dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. 
it's like all these end game quests are giving me absolute trash loot. It's insane. All right, so next thing on our list is to take everything we've gotten here and pump a little over two trillion into it to make this transmutation interface, which will be very helpful to us. So to make that, we again need this, which needs everything we just did. So the rainbow, the ludicrites, ludicrites, the blaze. This is the yeah. This is the blaze one that we want. I think right. Yeah, blazing rod. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then nitro crystal, nitro block. All right, let's go pump all this into our energizing orb. This, that, and these three. Am I missing something? Um. Oh yeah, the flux accessor. We could, in theory, upgrade these past spirited, but I don't want to. So it needs a little. Oh, sorry, two point one billion, not trillion. I can I can read and stuff. But well, this looks like it'll take a while, so I'll let it do its thing. But while it does its thing, to make this, we need um four more of these, and then the enter. Wait, when did these get EMC values? That's got to be new, right? I don't think they had EMC values before. I think I would have noticed that. Energy, one, two, three, four. And then we just need... Basic EMC links. So we just need the tablet. Wait, is it the tablet? Um, hello? Yeah, the transmutation tablets. Transmutation tablets, we need at least, was it one, two, three? We need four of them, right? So eight in total, how many we need. And then just go ahead. Come on. Move items. What's happening? Thank you. Two, three, and four. And then we should be... Oh, need two more energy condensers. Because we use them. Thank you. I wonder, does the Mark II have an EMC value now? Sure does. Wait, these things have EMC values now? Okay, they add a lot of EMC values. I, I wish I would have... Okay, we're actually going to... We're going to do that one. I really wish I would have noticed that. That That's definitely new. They did not have EMC values before. Okay. Go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and learn it. Might as well also learn the Mark II. Because, you know, why not? Uh, let's see here. Dark Matter Block. Two, three, four. Dump all that in there. And then let's go ahead and make a Mark II. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab our energy condensers back. Is it done? No. I just actually misclicked on it, and now I have to start over. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. I did not misclick it this time. We got our Architron, whatever it's called. Let's go ahead and learn that so we don't lose it. Um, and we can go ahead and create our transmutation interface. Cool. And to access it, we need a storage bus. Um, we'll just get some cables, I guess. It doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> but uh, I'll just throw it over here. No reason not to. And we'll bus it. And we'll get that. And now we have access to anything we've ever seen. So if we go ahead and do that. Two point, we can pull out 2.1 billion of a lot of stuff, actually. <laughs> also, you can put your insertion to higher priorities to make sure everything you put in the system goes in here first, it extracts out of here, and it'll also look all filter out of here and into here. But, yeah. Let's see what this quest gives us. Six emeralds. Wow, you really shouldn't have. It looks like we're on to the ultimate star, kind of. But we need to finish out this automation tab first, I think. So for this one, we just need two sticky balls. And then we'll be pretty much done. So we need a fractioning still. 
Oh man, a lot of these don't have EMC, which is unfortunate. Um, ten gear. Make this. Make a fractioning still. And what did you need? Crystallized sunflower oil. Oh my god, what is this weirdness? Do we have an alchemical thing in here? Just laying around. We do. What's on my leg? Um. <laughs> All right, so to do this, we need sunflower oil, which comes from a multi-servo press. I should have made more. I'm going to go ahead and start a new corner here. Let's go here, here, add it to my network. Get a new line going here. So our multi-servo press can output this way. Auto output enabled. And then, so to get that, we need the sunflower, which I'm, I know I picked up for a reason. Uh, I don't, we don't, we don't need, I doubt, highly doubt we need this much, but we'll go ahead and press it. And then to get this, we need a uh, alchemical imbuer with a thing. So alchemical imbuer, you will input auto inputs from the right. You should be, oh, wait, my bad. Right auto output. And then now you get it. Okay. And then we should be able to get amethyst or two, or three, maybe even four, who knows. And then, crystallized sunflower goes into the crystallized, we need the, frac the fraction still comes in last, okay. Inputs, um, outputs, and then we should get a sticky ball and refined sunflower oil. What's that used for? There are fine sunflower oils actually used. So <laughs> that's actual news to me. I did not know it would be used. So yeah, it is actually used and it's needed for... How much do we need it for? We need 4,000 buckets. So, or four buckets, 4,000 mil buckets. I'll just go ahead and make some more then. Well, with that, we will have completed our next thing. Random reward. A singular netherite ingots. Thank you so much. But I think that about wraps it up for this episode. Um, we got quite a bit of way through this, and then next episode we'll finish out this chapter and probably start on the star. This is a new tab. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. But yeah, so we'll get to that next episode hopefully. And yeah, I think this one's a little bit more of a boring episode, but. We're kind of in the just kind of monotonous crafting since especially now we have access to everything. So we're pretty much smooth sailing until the end.